An employee with the city of San Luis Obispo now on paid leave after assaulting a couple at a bar in Avila Beach, and many people are outraged. KSBY reporter Asia Gore looked into the case and joins us now live outside Mr. Rick's bar where it all happened. Asia? Well, Richard, the assault, which was caught on camera, happened back in 2016, but it was only this week that the employee with the city of San Luis Obispo was placed on paid administrative leave. I just remember a, kind of a white flash and my head was ringing and yeah, it just all happened so fast. On a sunny day in mid-May, Isaac McCormick and his friend Camille Chavez stopped by Mr. Rick's bar in Avila Beach. I remember approaching the bar and she had told me she felt like somebody was bumping into her or somebody was in her space. Seconds later, surveillance footage shows a violent assault. Certainly the video uh, shows very egregious conduct by Mr. Olcott. Slow County prosecutors filed one misdemeanor and one felony assault charge against Chris Olcott. But at trial, the jury could not unanimously convict Olcott. I don't see how people who watch the video, being the jury and you know, anybody else, could see how he didn't do it. But Olcott's attorney, Elon Funky Bailu, says the video also shows Chavez push Olcott repeatedly, forcing Olcott to defend himself. Funky Balu also claims Chavez did not fall from Olcott's punch, but rather her intoxication. Despite asserting his innocence, Olcott did plead guilty last February to a lesser charge of misdemeanor assault. Given that this particular charge can be charged either as a felony or misdemeanor, and given his lack of any prior criminal history, this was a resolution that we believe is in the interest of justice. But Olcott's attorney says he did not plead guilty because he believes he is at fault. He just didn't want another trial to disrupt his job as an inspector for the city of SLO. On Tuesday, three years after the assault and two months after he was convicted, the city placed Olcott on paid leave pending an internal investigation. And as part of his sentence, Olcott was ordered to serve 60 days in jail, three years on probation, and also ordered to pay restitution to the victims. Live in the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSPY News. All right, through this job with the city, Alcott makes more than $73,000 a year.